We do have breaking news right now. EPPD speaking on a shooting, a police involved shooting that happened over the weekend. Let's Robert let's listen in here. Call came in on a suicidal subject involving the same person. Officers located him on the street uh, in the, on the east side and attempted to pull him over. The subject fled in the vehicle and there was a short pursuit that was canceled by supervisors due to the inclement weather and the danger that uh, it posed to the public. So the officers uh, went back to the 3444 Sunset Rose residence uh, in anticipation that the subject may uh, go back there and at which time they did encounter him as he was on foot approaching the uh, front of the residence. The subject was armed with a shotgun. One officer engaged him by firing and striking the subject. Officers rendered aid to, to the subject who was transported to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced deceased. There were uh, seven persons inside the residence at the time uh, of the shooting. There was one adult and six uh, young children ranging in ages from two to 12. And in response uh, to that, the officer took the action he felt necessary to prevent a possible hostage situation or the potential loss of life to the innocent persons inside that residence. And that's where we stand right now. Crimes Against Persons is continuing the investigation, which is being conducted uh, by CAP, the Texas Rangers, uh, and uh, so that's where we stand. All right, so police providing that update right there. We know that the person that was involved in that shooting now is deceased after a uh, was reported as a domestic situation. Obviously, a lot more to go on this. That shooting happened on the 3400 block of Sunset Rose. That was in East El Paso. You can see it there near Edgemere and Loop 375. Police say they were responding to a domestic violence situation. It happened at 6.30, a call when a man with a shotgun approached those officers. The officers fired at the man. We now know he was pronounced dead at the hospital. There were no further details just yet. Uh, obviously, this is a developing situation. This incident now the fourth officer involved shooting this year. That equals the total from 2020.